Thank you for your interest in Sparse RSS. Today we're going to go in and take a look at some of the settings and some of the functionalities within the application. Now Sparse RSS is a full text RSS feed. It has functionalities to do articles to PDF conversion. There's some social sharing. There's a Google Reader Sync, uh, an Instapaper one-way sync. Uh, there's some simplified URL entering, uh, some RSS widgets, a lot of neat functionality within here. And what we want to do is we're going to go and we're going to click on the menu button. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up our different options here where we can refresh, we can mark as red. But what we're going to take a look at is the settings. So we're going to click on the settings. And as we look at the settings here, the first one that we have on the top is the automatic refresh of the feeds. And we can either enable that or disable it. Now, when that is enabled, we can choose the refresh interval. So one hour, two hour, 30 minutes, whatever's going to fit your needs. The next thing that you can look at is if you want this to refresh when the feed opens. And you can make that choice is if you want it to refresh as soon as you open up the application, just make sure that checkbox is there. We also have notifications. Do you want to be notified when new feed content is available? You could choose the ringtone or I prefer just the vibrate. You can choose that option so it will vibrate for you. I'm going to scroll up a little bit here. We do have some pro features that you can take a look at, but the main thing I wanted to point out on here is the show tabs. And if you choose the show tabs, which is what I originally had set up when we came in, that'll give you some more options there for favorites. We can also decide if we want to prioritize our unread content. And we also can decide what time frame we want to keep those entries. We can disable the pictures. So if you don't want to show those, you can turn that off. So if you don't want those downloading, if they do, or if you do want the pictures in there, you can choose if you want those downloaded and to be stored locally. Now, right now, the text is white on black. We can alternate that. So if you prefer the black text on white, you can choose that option. Now, if you're working on a tablet, you can also choose that setting as well. So you can choose the font size. So if you want that a little bit larger, which works really well when you're reading on a tablet, you can choose that. You can use decide if you want to use the standard user agent or if you want to remove that option so it's not using the standard name. We also have some proxy settings in there. So if you go in and take a look at the proxies, if you want to use a proxy, you can enable that. You can decide if you want to do that only for Wi-Fi, set the host, you can set the port. So there's some options that really allow you to control that setting as far as a proxy goes. Now once we get outside of the proxy settings, a couple other items in here is we can set up our Instapaper login. You can also put in your GReader login details. So you can set that up so that this will pick that information up. Going back out to the application, I was on the Overview tab, but if we switch to the All tab, We'll now be able to see all the articles that I had in there. Favorites, I didn't have anything set yet. Taking a look at the all articles now, if I wanted to choose one of these, I just tap on it. It automatically brings it up. It has that picture there. Now, when I have that up there, I can scroll down. I can look at the article. I can click on Next and go to Next. If I click on Menu, it's going to bring up my menu, and I can choose if I want to share or send it to paper. But what I did is I clicked on, on the Send a PDF, and that brings up our PDF screen. That will actually save that as a PDF, and we can choose how we want to view that. So nice option there. Now if I go back to my All Articles, I could choose another article. So if I wanted to tap on another article here after I've scrolled through these so I can find one that I would be interested in and if I tap on that and hold down I can decide if I want to mark that as red I have some options there as as well so that's really the functionality that we have within the sparse RSS reader so you can decide how you want to do that how you want to load those entries up um, if you want to add another feed you can do that from the menu as well so you can click on menu and you can tell it that you wanted to add another feed i can choose to favorite those i can unfavorite items i can hide my red entries and that's really what you're going to get with sparse rss so i really hope that that was helpful and you were able to get the information out of that that you need